Number seven, rewrite the following exponents in simplest form. I'm going to do this video row by row. So this will be the video for the first row. Feel free to skip ahead if you want to see a certain explanation and not others. So for the first row, two to the third to the third power. What that means is that I'm going to take two to the third power three times. to the third times two to the third times two to the third. So if I use my rules of multiplying exponents, I know that I can keep the same base and then add those three powers. So three plus three plus three is nine. So that's where I'm getting two to the ninth power. Another way to get to two to the ninth power would be to use my power to a power rule. My power to a power rule says that I can take, when I take a power like two cubed, and raise it to another power, like to the third power, my shortcut is that I can take two raised to the three times three power. So using that shortcut, I also get two to the ninth power. Let's take a look at the middle problem. Two to the fourth over two to the sixth. So in order to approach this, you could think of this a couple ways. I would think of this by multiplying out the numerator and the denominator. So two to the fourth is the same thing as two times two times two times two. And two to the sixth is the same thing as two times itself six times. So there's four times, five times, six times. If I cancel out common factors, I've got four twos in the denominator that also appear in the, in the numerator, right? One, two, three, four in each. So what I'm left with is one over two to the second power, right? Because all of those other twos canceled out. That's one way to solve this. If I wanted to use the rules for dividing exponents, I could have just said, hey, I'm dividing two exponents with the same base. That means I'm taking two to the four minus six power, which is two to the negative two power. Once I've gotten that answer, what I need to do is I need to take that negative power and make it a positive power to get my exponent in its simplest form. So that would become one over two squared. Let's take a look at the far right column. If I wanted to write one over two to the negative third power with a positive power, what I would need to do is just switch the location of that exponent and make the power positive. So one over two cubed, since two, or one over two to the negative three rather, since two to the negative three is in the denominator, I just need to move it to the numerator and make it positive. So I could write two to the third power over one or just two cubed.